hey hey how you doing thank you so much for clicking this video welcome to my space but today is saturday out here and um i'm not doing much in the content creation side which is what i do most times on saturday easier content creation and or a lot of cooking but today i'm actually going out to see a family friend and all that that's why i'm all dressed up looking cute so i haven't been um, had a new baby so we're obviously going to take gifts and then go there hubby's still getting ready and i know he's going to take a bit of time so i decided to share a bit with you my fellow high value women this video is just going to be a refresher on what it takes to continue being or if you're trying to be a high value woman if this is something you think you would enjoy sit back relax and let's have a good time getting all that knowledge for me and obviously from the comment section as well my name is stephanie guys and you welcome to the metro gypsy platform so guys how you feel about yourself is basically a mirror where you reflect on how other people see you when you carry yourself up nobody is going to be bringing you down have a high sense of value and respect for yourself as this kind of removes all your imperfection creates your reality and then obviously your actual as well it's not you just thinking of another reason then again the way you think about yourself is when you'll be acting you get so it all flows from there in my own opinion being a high value person is just kind of like not really as imperfect but just living the best of you that can be lived and then in order to explain this i've tried to break it into about six seven points on how you can live out your best, get the best from the world we are all living in. So the first one, obviously as I said, how you see yourself is a reflection. You know your worth. You know what you are worth. Other people's opinions on you or the things you're doing do not matter, except maybe their professionals in it. But you know your worth. You know your value. Are you attacks? Ignore their social opinion. The way people even talk to you and give you feedback or things is not adding to you, ignore it. Don't take it personally. You know what your value is. Work with that. Everybody has opinions, Jigia. So just work with what works for you. Knowing yourself, knowing where you want to be. So yeah, that's it. Next thing is to love yourself. When you love yourself, you operate from a place of confidence. You are not needy. Never. Or even if the neediness is in you, to not portray it out. Do never operate from a place of neediness because you look desperate. You don't look like, even if you really need something, mm -mm, you're not operating from there. You're loving yourself, you're respecting yourself, you're not trying to disgrace yourself because you learn to be alone learn to love your company even when you want something and you so need it you ex ex you operate from a place of this thing how it will benefit the person that is supposed to be in charge of giving you she gets so never be needy and a high value woman a leveled up woman does not show you she needs something she tells you why you you benefit you and then it will come to her just love yourself and respect yourself. You're the only you <laughs> that exists. Guys, what this is I'm saying, experience as well, you know. Just, it, it, it might think it's a minute thing, but things will just be working out for you. Even the things you actually need will be coming to you. Just love and respect yourself and never operate from a place of neediness. And the next one is to be kind. I'm sure you always hear this kind, kind, kind. You're like, which one is kind? Everybody is nice, be kind and compassionate. When I say compassionate, I mean operate from a level of putting yourself in someone's shoes genuinely. Understand people. Let people talk to you and feel better after talking to you. Let people meet you and feel better after meeting you. You know, you just read your positivity. If someone is talking to you, you're not listening, so you find what to say. You're listening to understand what the person is saying. Everyone is going through something and they might not even share with you, but you just being a source of, I don't know, comfort, kindness, just be sweet and compassionate. Compassion is love in action. So you just be good to people. It only makes you a better person, it cleanses your mind. Helping people is one of the cheapest ways to do good. It's free, it's easy. Just declog 
that your clogged mind. <laughs> How nice to people. Be genuinely kind to people. Okay, let's say someone jo uh, sorry, a lot of my examples are nine to five work and stuff like that. Someone joins your team from somewhere else. Probably maybe as even a higher position to you, but you've been in the company before, you know how the processes are. They ask you a question, help. Even give tips that just you know, nice good tips that you know would help this person have a better stay than maybe when you you had that you had when you joined or whatever. Just be genuinely good. You get, you would never have to watch in your back. What did I say? They would be like, mm -mm, just be good. A high value woman like us is self aware and empathetic, just like compassionate. You're able to understand when someone is going through something, put yourself in their shoes and just listen. And then, most importantly, say the right thing. Emotional intelligence, it goes a long way. Knowing what to say at the right time. Knowing how to say what you are saying. Knowing when to shut up. A high value woman is emotionally intelligent. Your words, she knows her words have power to either diminish or lift people. The fifth point I think is we as high value women, we are grounded. We don't have to manipulate people. You don't like somebody, you don't like something, leave it, be going. You don't, because someone is basically at your beck and call or whatever, now use them when you know what they want and you're not able to give it. Obviously, I'm now trying to talk about relationship. We high value women, we don't play games. We don't want this. Even in situations, let's say, um, you're more intelligent or you have more access to something, you're not be trying to manipulate someone because of that. We don't do that here. We don't. We are grounded. We don't play no games. Take what we want. If we don't want something, we don't want it. The sixth point, we high value women, we are not afraid to speak our minds. Obviously not brashly, <laughs> like mad people, but in a world where everybody is, like anything is is a problem. Everybody is trying to become politically correct. They ask me question, you be dilly darling. Nah, we, we see what's on our mind. Obviously, with emotional intelligence, just how to say it, what to say, you know. When you speak from a place of honesty, vulnerability, authenticity, it shows. Would I say creativity? Just expressing yourself in different kind of ways. That's how we operate as high value women. The last point, me and you, we take care of ourselves. When we talk about taking care of ourselves, apart from physically, obviously, we look fresh. Skincare over makeup. From within, you're editing goodness. Emotionally as well. You don't put yourself through nonsense. You walk away from anything that's not serving you. That's taking care of yourself. I think as you're hurting someone, you do what you want to do. Take care of your mind. Every day, learn something new. There's so many platforms, skill shares. I'm sure there's so many YouTubers that have like discounts, code at Skillshare. Um, what's that other learning platform, Udemy, just add to yourself, read a book, clear your mind, let your Instagram feed be filled with things that are adding to you, just take care of yourself, anything that is not serving you, bye. So guys, these are the seven things I think I've learned and I'm practicing towards becoming a high value woman, which I think I am already. So if there's any other points you think you want to share. You just write, leave it in the comment section and let's all chat together. Share this video with your friends, your family, and your enemies. Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. I also have a blog. Yeah. And then um, click the thumb up button if you haven't. It helps the video go far and wide. Stay classy. I'll see you in the next episode. Mwah.